Boom! Hey, my little glib glops, last outrider here! Bringing you the next part of Adeptus Mechanicus, the Red Planet. Ready? <clears throat> Mars is the cornerstone upon which the empire of the Adeptus Mechanicus was built. <clears throat> After a glorious age of technological advancement, Mars was cut off from Terra by warp storms. Under glowering skies, it forged on alone. For those benighted times, the mankind's conquest of the galaxy had barely begun. Whilst the people of Terra devolved into barbarism, the settlers of Mars a technologically warp-shipping brotherhood called the Mechanicum, continued to thrive, slowly terraforming the Red Planet to their desires. Mars was made habitable for a while. However, over the millennia, it too devolved into a polluted, arid wasteland as the Mechanicum covered its surface with unbridled industry. The two civilizations were only united in the 30th millennium by the arrival of the Emperor, who the Mechanicum hailed as the prophesied Omnissiah due to his unprecedented understanding of the universe. So it was that the two great societies were interlinked forever. The legions of the Scatare still bear the sacred sigils of Mars and obey its military strictures to this day day. <clears throat> Look at that. I don't think that's going to last for very long, and I'll tell you why. Because they just stated that Mars and Terra were separated by warp storms. Now, unless I'm mistaken, we're able to fly to Mars today, and we don't need warp travel to get there. So, either way, here's what the story was originally. The only reason we didn't talk to Mars, or Terra didn't talk to Mars, was because the planet was so fractured into a thousand different petty warlords fighting with each other that there was no unified government of any way, of any sort. So nothing was ever built, I mean, of the scale of getting to Mars and back. There's nobody could do it. It wasn't until the Emperor came along with the Unification Wars that united all of the different factions of Terra into one global government under his rule that the Great Crusade could begin. And it was then that Mars was the first stop of the Great Crusade. But this was all purely logistical reasons, not because there was uh, some really freakishly localized warp storm that apparently was constantly between Earth and Mars and blocked off real space travel at the same time. <clears throat> but it was also interesting to note that Mars has been fully terraformed. It was apparently an Earth-like paradise, and then was polluted into an industrialized wasteland by industry later on. So it became a wasteland, became a paradise, and back to being a wasteland. All for your viewing entertainment. Next, we're going to talk about the Crucibles of War. Woo! Until next time. Bye!